What's up, YouTube? This is Mike from Mass. My channel is Mass Aquariums, and this is my third upload for the Species Special. Now, tonight we're going to be talking about angelfish, one of my favorite fish. But before I get into it, I just want to preface this video by letting you guys know that I did get a few comments on my last Species Special, on my Geo Vegas Jury Party, and my 30. Not on uh, YouTube, but on. Uh, the YouTube Fish Keepers Facebook page, which by the way is an awesome group if you guys want to join that. If you love getting info on fish, all types of fish, saltwater, cichlids, South American, plants of tanks, everything. Try to join that group. It's a great group. Everybody uh, gets along real great and comments on everything and gives each other a lot of information. That being said, I did get one comment on my last species special about some misinformation. Now, before I get into the angelfish, I would like to say, by no means do I claim to be an expert on anything I am telling you. I just do my research, I watch videos, I read a ton of stuff in books and on the internet, and I'm just giving you guys a little bit of information on some fish that might help you in buying a fish or getting into a certain fish and how it works in my tank. Now I always preach everybody's aquarium is different. So what I read to you on Wikipedia or whatever research you guys are doing, it might not work in your tank. It does work in my tank and that's why I'm giving you a species special. So I apologize for uh, any misinformation I've given anybody but I give you guys what I research, what I look up. You guys can look it up on yourself, you know, on your own, on the on the internet, wherever you're gonna look it up. And you know, it is what it is. If it works in your tank, then it works, and that's what all that matters. So let's get started. Let's do this. Angelfish, one of my favorite fish. First fish I got started with when I started my plants and tanks. Angelfish absolutely gorgeous fish cichlid beautiful fish I have uh, five angelfish in my 75 I have two silvers a marble veil tail I have a zebra lace which I hope he comes out which he probably won't because he's always hiding absolutely my favorite angel zebra lace angel beautiful fish and I just got oh this guy here he goes this uh what they're calling it at my local fish store, I don't know what they call it, you know, the uh, Latin name, but it's a, uh, they're calling it a cobalt white angelfish. You can see him right back there. He's absolutely gorgeous. Now, angelfish, they're from South America. They are a cichlid. The Latin name is, like I have my cheat sheets as always, Pterophilium scarlet. Yeah, I'm never going to be able to pronounce this. That's their Latin name. Look it up if you want to try to pronounce it yourself. And uh, they were found in 1823. Pretty good. They inhabit slow-moving waters in South America, Central America, the Amazon River Basin, tributaries Peru, Brazil, East and Ecuador. And in the wild, they live in swamps, flooded areas where the vegetation is very dense, which all those previous things I said, obviously, they live in the wild. Um, what else do we got here? Let's see. Let's talk about what kind of aquarium Wikipedia says they would love to live in. Minimum size tank, 30 gallons. I do agree with that. I had a bunch of dis uh, sorry, angelfish started in my 30 and I moved them over to my 75. They do need a minimum tank of 30 gallons, but I would say two angelfish is good for 30 gallons. You know, anything more than two angelfish, you need to put them in a bigger tank. They're gonna get huge, and it's just not fair to the fish. They low light to high light. They don't really mind the light. Temperature 75 to 82, which you know, it's probably what we all keep our tanks at. My tank runs about 80 to 81, 82 degrees, right around there. All my fish are South American with a few. I got two African uh, yellow lab cichlids in here, so 
tropical fish, need high temps. They love a pH from 7 to 6, or 6 to 7.5. Is that everybody's tank? Probably. My pH is at 7.2 on the dot. Every time I test my water, it always comes at 7.2, 7.2, so my pH is stable. Hardness, 2 to 10. DGH. Now, I don't test my hardness often, once a month maybe. My water's hard where I live. Uh, they do like more soft water, but my angels seem to be doing great. I would say this fish is really a great community fish and, if you will, a hardy fish. They will, in my experience, like I said, everybody's aquarium is different. They will adapt to your water. They're really, really hardy fish. Social behavior, we're going to skip through all this because I'm just going to tell you about my tank. Blah, 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 over and over. Wikipedia, all you want. My angels, they love my planted tank. They love big water changes. They love a community tank as far as I'm concerned. They're always bombing around and you know angels you think that they're just like slow moving like discus. Well no they can swim really fast. They'll bomb around your tank like crazy uh, when they feel the need to but for the majority they're really chill fish. They get along with all my other fish. They do tend to poke around one another, but, you know, that's part of the cichlid family. They get their territory going, and maybe they've paired up, or they're trying to keep one male away from the female that they think they own. You know, how that goes. But these guys, they're really, really a great community fish. If you're a beginner and you're looking to get into any type of cichlid or any type of fish that looks beautiful basically an angel fish is one of the you know top fish you can buy now all my angels are really big as you can see i got them all when they're about a quarter to a half dollar size i wanted to see what happened could i get them to grow up and really uh you know make them live until their adulthood and as you can see here's my zebra this guy is gorgeous i got my two silvers my marble and my brand new one, which they're calling at my local fish store, the Cobalt White. Not sure even really what kind he is, but he's absolutely gorgeous. And these guys have grown up and they're thriving. And they're doing great with all my rainbows. And rainbows, as you know, bomb back and forth in the tank. So you'd think they uh, wouldn't like that, but they do. They get along great with everybody. And they're doing great. They, they eat. Uh, I feed them omega-1 veggie flakes and protein flakes and blood worms and brine shrimp and they eat it all. You can get your angels, you know, it's almost like a little pet. Uh, the rainbows will go back and forth, these angels. If you bring your fingers up to the tank, you know, this guy right here, just like this, he thinks you're going to feed him. And he'll follow you around. You can almost hand feed angels, that's the beauty of them. They get to know you. It's, uh, it's a really great, great fish to have in your tank, and I recommend it to, you know, every newbie or anyone who wants to get into angels. It's a great, great fish. Uh, and that's what I got to say. So, this is Mike from Mass. It's my species special number three, angel fish. I love them, and I hope you guys get some. I'm out.